Hello, everyone. In this session, we are going to understand a symbolic microprogram for addition operation. Let us say the current instruction that has been fetched from the main memory is an addition instruction. You know that during the addition instruction, we need to fetch the operand from the main memory into the data register. And finally, the operation addition is going to be performed in between accumulator and data register, for which a micro routine that has to be executed within the control memory. Let us have a look at how the sequence of operations are going to be performed in a microprogrammed control unit. When an addition operation has to be performed, the addition instruction will be mapped to the zeroth address within the control memory. You know that? The addition instruction, of course, it is under the label. If the label states add, it means that this is addition instruction. This addition instruction is available at the zeroth location from the zeroth location of the control memory. You know that for a micro program, we do require four micro instructions. That means that 0, 1, 2, 3 holds. Four micro instructions for addition. So, when addition instruction is fetched, immediately it will be mapped to the zeroth address because from the zeroth address, addition micro operation, rather micro program has been started. The first instruction, the first micro instruction for addition operation, let us see what it is. The first micro operation is no operation. You know that a micro instruction has these many fields. F1, F2, F3, CD, BR, and address. Okay. F1, F2, F3 are no operation, simply no operation. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, no operation. In CD, there is I. We will see what is I. There will be a condition I checked. If the condition is satisfied, then there will be a call made to indirect routine what it is let us recollect that if you want to perform an arithmetic operation first we need to fetch the operand from the main memory what are the sequence of operations taken place in this let us see instruction is add 450 for that we should also observe the most significant digit. The most significant digit is going to state the addressing mode. If it is 0, then 450 is a direct address. If it is equal to 1, the 450 is an indirect address in which there is one more address. At 450, there is one more address. 1050. If it is 0, the 1050 itself, it is the operand. So it is clearly evident that in the indirect addressing mode, memory accessed for twice, right? Memory is accessed for twice. Again, we need to go to 1050. In 1050, there is an operand that will be the actual operand in the indirect addressing mode. Let us say this is 2000. In the indirect addressing mode, the operand is 2000. In the direct addressing mode, the operand is 1050 itself. So in the indirect addressing mode, we do require two memory accesses. In the direct addressing mode, we do require only one memory access, as simple as this. So we need to check every time when we perform an operation, we need to check how the operand is available, either it is in the direct address or an indirect address. In the indirect address, if it is in the indirect address, then we do require two memory accesses. Okay. If it is in the direct address, only one memory access. If it is only one memory access, the microprogram itself this performs this one memory access. If the operand is available at an indirect address, we do require two memory access. How it is going to happen, let us see. So again, the first instruction, no operation, after which condition is I. What is I? I stands for data register 15th digit. If the symbol is equal to I, then the condition is data register 15th digit. What is data register 15th digit? What is data register? Data register initially is the instruction register. If the most significant digit 15th digit, if it is equal to 0, direct addressing mode 1, it is an indirect addressing mode. If it is 1, we are going to take a branch. Okay, where? We're going to make a call. Here you can clearly see. 
if the most significant digit is equal to 1 then we are going to make a call to the indirect routine in the indirect routine one read operation will be performed that is one memory access after which after one memory access has been performed we will be returning back to here written it is not shown clearly here after performing one read operation then we will return back to the routine from where this indirect routine has been called that is addition routine so initially we are going to check if the operand is available the direct address or indirect address if it is the indirect address we will branch to the indirect routine after one memory access has been performed then we will return back here then what is going to perform another read operation needed to be performed to make the total memory access count as 2 in the indirect routine one memory access will be performed in the actual micro program one memory access will be performed so the total count will be 2 if it is a direct uh, you know my memory address then only one memory read is required that is more than sufficient after read has been performed then the operand is fetched into the data register once after the operand read has been performed that means that the data register holds the final operand now we are all set to perform the addition for performing any operation let us understand initially the operand must be fetched into the data register for that we are doing all these things if the operand is available at indirect address, two memory access, direct address, only one memory access. Finally, eventually, after performing two memory access in this case, the operand is available at the data register. Finally, the operation is going to be performed. What? Addition. Look at this. After reading, we are indirect, we are, we are, we are unconditionally jumping to the next instruction. What is the next instruction? Next instruction is available here. That is addition. What is addition? When you perform addition, an addition is going to be performed in between data register and accumulator. Let us have a look at F1 triple zero one meaning it is addition. That means that finally the operation has been performed and final result has been transferred to the accumulator. After performing the operation, that means that we are finished with the current instructions execution. Once after the ALU operation is performed, execution is finished. If the execution is finished, we should go ahead with fetching the next instruction. That is the reason why we will go to the fetch routine. When the fetch routine is performed, the next instruction is going to be fetched. Okay. Similarly, the same symbolic microprogram can be represented in a binary microprogram. In the binary microprogram, symbols will be replaced with the binary equivalents. For addition, initially F1, F2, F3, there are no operations. CD01, CD01 meaning data register 15th digit will be checked branch 01 branch 01 meaning it is call if the data register 15th digit is equal to 1 then we are going to make a call to the address 14011 is going to hold the indirect routine in the indirect routine we are going to perform one more reading okay after which we will return back that is if the branch field is 10 this 10 stands for return. We will return back to the previous routine from which the indirect routine has been called. After which, what we are going to perform is we are going to perform one more memory read in which at the address which is specified by the address register, the contents will get transferred to the data register. We will see. F1 is equal to triple zero, no operation. F2 is equal to 100. What is F2 is equal to 100? 100 meaning read operation. The address which is specified by the memory uh, address register, the contents will get transferred to the data register. This is the read operation. After which, unconditionally, we are jumping to the next instruction. In the next instruction, F1 is equal to 001, which is just nothing but addition. Addition is being performed. Addition meaning accumulator and data register is going to get added. Finally, the contents will get transferred to the accumulator. After finishing with this, we have nothing to do rather than simply branching to the fetch routine because the current instruction has been executed. Once after the ALU operation has been finished, the instruction is executed. Now we need to fetch the next instruction. So we are unconditionally jumping. What is 0, 0, 0, 0 in the condition field is an unconditional one. Meaning we are going to check a flag which is always one. Then double zero, double zero is a jump unconditionally jump to the 64th location. What is the 64th location? 64th location 
held the fish roti so just now we have witnessed a symbolic micro program and an equivalent binary micro program hence we are done with designing the micro program to control unit in the next session we will have a simple uh, you know segregation of all the events that happened so far that is we are going to identify the different parts of the micro program to control unit in order to summarize thank you